Last year, we brought you Pixis OS for the Arduino. Now we bring you Pixis 2 for the .NET Micro Framework. Pixis 2 is capable of running on any .NET Micro Framework machine that supports an LCD and has sufficient RAM. As you can see, we have a nice settings window in here that will allow you to take care of all the settings in Pixis, including your desktop. The desktop runs alpha blended icons and supports a app store. Here you can download apps directly from our website and install them onto your Pixis device. Once installed, a shortcut can be added directly to your desktop to launch your application. Applications are launched inside their own threads and their own app domains for easy cleanup and maintenance of their threads and resources. While all apps should include a quit menu item, you can also forcibly quit any running application from the Pixis icon menu. The new overhauled file finder allows for associated file types. As you can see, it will launch the picture viewer for something that is associated with it, like a JPEG. Inside the settings window, you'll also see that we support dynamic and static IP addresses, time settings, and for the Chipwork X machine, sounds. Not only can you control the volume, but the bass and treble as well. The file finder also supports some new features like deleting of an entire directory, renaming directories, copying and moving files, and these are all done with built-in dialogues. The in, uh, the keyboard you see here is built directly into Pixis and is available anytime you use a text box. Pixis OS also has a built in updater that will not only update Pixis, but the bootloader and the firmware for the device itself as well. All of these files can be downloaded directly off of our website and installed onto your machine. As you can see here, it's downloading a full update, which is the bootloader, Pixis, and the firmware. Once it completes, it will prompt you to restart the device. Pixis supports not only SD, but USB drives as well, and will automatically pick whatever is present to use you can use multiple drives at the same time. What you see here is the bootloader first scanning for the primary drive, in this case the SD, then looking for what firmware updates are available and installing them. Once they're completely installed, the bootloader will restart and put you back into Pixis 2. Now, if you were using a regular bootloader for this, the one that comes from GHI or something that you used yourself, the LCD would reset to its native uh, format of 320 by 240. With Pixis 2, it remembers your settings and restores them immediately. As you can see here, the default LCD settings have been put back because of the firmware update. And in a couple of seconds, Pixis 2 is going to recognize that and restart the device. Now, the boot logo is offset for the very first time because that doesn't take effect until a full restart. But in a second here, you will see that it will come up with the Pixis boot screen in the full 480 by 272 that the LCD is running.